worthy of our praises. We lift your name on high, Lord. Your name is above every name. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. You are.
Somebody just worship him. Somebody just call upon his name this morning. Somebody call upon his name. Jesus is here. Reka pata ta 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 ta. Reke te te bashini di la raba la rebo sala raba. La primi di basa ta pa ta ba rebe sala re rebe. Raka ta 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 ta. Father, we worship you, Lord. Father, we magnify the Lord. Father, we exalt the Lord, my God. Reka ta ta ba 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 ba. Raka ta ta ba sala raba la raba. La primi di basa ta la raba la raba la raba. What the Lord is your name. What the Lord is your name. What the is your name, King of glory. Father, we exalt your holy name. Father, we lift up your mighty name. Zaka ta 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 ta. La primi di bashanta la raba la raba. Raka ta 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 ba 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 riba shala raba la raba. Father, you are worthy. Father, you are worthy. Father, you are worthy. Worship the Lord, my God. Father, we lift it up, oh Lord. Zaka pa ta 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 ba 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 ba. La primi di bashan kanta la raba. La kanta ta ta ba 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 ba. Shala la la raba. Shanta la raba la raba. Raka ta 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 ta. Raka ta 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 ta. Shala la. Shala raba. Shala rebe. Shala raba. Shaka ta ta da ba 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 di ba shala raba. Le prebe de ba shamba da ba di bi di bi di ba. Shaka pa ta ba 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 ba. Oh my God. Oh my God, Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, be glorified. Father, be magnified, oh Lord. Awesome in strength, awesome in power. Oh my God, Father, be lifted up, oh Lord. Oh, be magnified, oh Lord. What the Lord is strength. What the Lord, my God, is strength. Awesome in strength. Shua Jehovah Shama. Shua Jehovah Jireh, Shua Jehovah Nisi, Shua Jehovah Elohim. You are the ancient of days. You are from everlasting to everlasting, O Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. You are our refuge, O Lord. You are our hiding place, O Lord. You are our strong tower, Lord, my Father. That's why, my God, we are in your presence, O Lord. Be magnified, O Lord. Be magnified, O Lord. Father, be lifted up, O Lord. Oh, my God. Reka ta 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 ta. Reka pa 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 pa. Shanta la raba la raba. Shala la la raba. Reka ta 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 ta. Shala la la raba. Shala la la raba. Shala la la raba. Hey. Shaka ta 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 ta. Hey. Maka ta ta la raba. Oh my God, we worship you, Lord. Thank you for your presence, O oh, Spirit of the Living God. We thank you for your presence. Reka ta ta ta, rap rebe deba, shala la 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 ba, shala la 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 ba, la prava deba shala la ba. Somebody open your mouth. Just speak to God this morning. Worship Him. Worship Him this morning. Exalt His mighty name. Exalt His holy name. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, blessed be Your holy name. Father, be lifted up, oh Lord. Hakuna mungu aliye kama we bwana. Baba pokea siba bwana. Oh, asante bwana. Asante bwana. We made we bwana. Now pay we siba bwana. Father, there is none like You, Lord. You are our Father. You are our Abba Father. My God, my Father, you created us, so my Father, in your image, my Father, to worship you, Lord. That's why this morning, Lord, we are in your sanctuary, Lord. Father, to exalt your holy name. Father, to magnify your name. Father, to say that you are our Father. That beside you, Lord, my Father, there is no any other God, my Father. We thank you, Lord, my Father, for the breath of life this day. Lord, my God. This is the day, Lord, my Father, that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, O oh, my Father. We thank you, Lord, my Father, 
and we honor you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And somebody say, Amen. Piga Yesu Makovi Mazore. Shamwe na bigele gele. Hallelujah. 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 Karibisha jirani yako. Wengine walingia kama ibadi nendelea. Mkaribisha. Nana wengine badu wako na baridi baridi. Baridi, 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 baridi. Mkaribishe. Mkaribishe kushoto na kulia. Naona wengine bado. Mwambie ibada yendi hivu na yu uzito wako. Asante, asante. Mkaribishe. Mwambie changamuka bwana. Hey, mwambie changamuka wengine. Usiwe na, usiwe na attitude kwa nyumba ya mungu. Changamuka. Changamuka, changamuka. We are in the presence of God. Somebody say amen. Mutu sema amen. Tunapo kuja mbele za mungu tunajiachilia. Tusema amen. Usibebe mambo ya nyumbani kuleta kanisani ya pana. Bele za buwana watoto wadogo. Sema amen. Sema amen. Hallelujah. Basi, santeni sana. Praise and worship team. Pigeni wapenda wa makofi mazuri watu wa mungu wawa. Makofi mazuri kwa sababu ya yesu. Asante, asante. Asante, asante. Buwana wabariki sana. Buwana wabariki sana. Basi, pata mahali pazuri kaweze kuketi. Asante, asante. Asante. Napo karibisha light to the nations. Watupatie two numbers katika jina la yesu. Karibu ni karibu light to the nations. Amen.
love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Makofi mazuri Hallelujah, hallelujah Wapigi makofi mazuri tena watoto hawa Asante, asante, asante Asante, asante watoto Wacha buwana wabariki May the Lord God bless you For such wonderful, for such good Performance in the presence of the Lord Somebody say Amen Simutu sema amina Basi watoto napo kuja Simama tukwa migu yako wea mba uko pale Kwa daka moja, daka mbili tu Mama tukwa mgu yako daka moja, daka mbili Tukwa mwabudu buwana Kwa njimbo mo Just You are wonderful souls you say the children of the righteous shall be mighty in the land we bless them with your blessing we declare let them grow to be mighty in this land may the goodness of the Lord be their portion may they possess the gates of our enemies you say the sons of righteous they are like the arrows and I declare, Lord, may they be able to face our enemies even at their gate. In the name of Jesus, may the wisdom of God sit on them. May the hand of God be upon them. May you preserve them. May you keep them. May you do them good. Even those who are going back to school from tomorrow, Lord, I release your blessing. 
may they go and excel in their studies may you mark them with your mark that the devil will not be able to destroy them i give you glory and i give you praise in jesus name put your hands together for jesus okay yesterday yesterday we had a back to school service let me see your men who are here for the service okay put your hands down how many okay. were not here for the service jana wangapi wako hapa kwa ibada one thing i have discovered jambo moja nimetambua parents are too busy for their children wazazi tuna shughuli nyingi sana saidi ya watoto wetu you don't have time for your children hauna muda na watoto wako even when i said you are company your children for the service hata niliposema kwamba uambatane na mtoto wako kuja kwa ibada hiyo to be sincere we had less than less than 10 parents who came with their children kwa ukweli kabisa jana tulikuwa na chini ya wazazi kumi mahali hapa na watoto wao and nobody can do parenting on, on your behalf nobody na, can parent your children on your behalf na hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa mzazi wa watoto wako kwa niaba yako let me tell you wacha nikuambie these children are so precious than the money you are looking for ha watoto wana dhamana zaidi ya hiyo pesa unatafuta pale nje they are very precious more than the business you are doing wana dhamana zaidi ya hiyo biashara unafanya pale The Bible says children are inheritance from the Lord. Maana inasema kwamba watoto ni urithi kutoka kwa Bwana. I pray that you as a parent will understand that scripture. Naomba wewe kama mzazi hiyo maandiko kaweze kuielewa bora. This is your inheritance God has given you. How and the you, fruit. How and the fruit, fruit of wako. your womb. How and your mazao ya tumbo lako. Matunda ya tumbo lako. The Bible says they are eh The fruit of the womb is the reward from the Lord. Ya kwamba matunda ya tumbo lako ndio ndio thawabu kutoka kwa Mungu. So this is a reward from the Lord. Kwa hivyo hii ni thawabu kutoka kwa Mungu. Hawa. And because I said we will be doing back to school service every time our children will be going back. Na tumesema kwamba hiyo ibada ya kurudi shuleni tutakuwa na watoto kila mara wanaporudi shuleni. I will make this known to you. Na nitaifanya ufahamike ama ujue na mzazi nataka usikie na masikio mawili mm. tutakuwa tunafanya back to school service kwa ajili ya watoto wetu amen ninataka uwe unakamba ni watoto wako kuja kwa hiyo ibada amen na kama au wakamba ni watoto wako kuja kwa ibada you are too busy don't send them to come kama wewe una shughuli nyingi sana basi hata usiwatume basi why should they come without you Bwana waje na we hauko. If, if, if teachers in the school they, the head teacher when tells you I want to see you or oh, they tell you they tell your children juma mo, juma tatu mkuja na wazazi. Unaombanga ruhusa kazini uende kwa sababu mwalimu ameitana shule. Yes. Eh. Ndio. Niaje juu ya hao watoto kuja kuwapeana kwa Bwana. Na mimi nilisema mambo ya kuja kuombea watoto eh Sunday tuko na crash program mm. tunakimbizana na wakati tunakuja ku, kuombea watoto eh, na haraka hatuna time na wao kwa sababu ni Sunday wanarudi shule kwa nini tufanye kwa na jumamosi yenye ambao tunaweza kuwa time na wao we give them the counsel of the lord na pande shauri wa bwana tunawabariki we have wonderful time with them tuna muda mwafa pamoja na wao We must value our children. Lazima tuwe na lazima tuadhamini watoto wetu. And one way that shows you have, you value your children. Na njia moja kuamini unadhamini watoto wako is you by giving them your time. Ili ile ni wewe kwako wewe kupeana muda wako kwa watoto wako. Your time is precious but you must give them. Muda wako una dhamani lakini lazima upeane muda wako kwa watoto wako. Say amen parents if you can hear me. Sema amen wazazi kama umenisikia vizuri. Do we agree on that say amen? Je, tunakubaliana hiyo sema amina? Yes. Ndio. 
I want us to invest on these children. Nataka tuwekeze kwa hawa watoto. Yes, they are the seed of the righteous. Hao ndio mbegu ya wenye haki. Amen. Amen. So those who are not here yesterday. Kwa hivyo kwa wale ambao hamko hapa jana. You are covered by the prayers that we prayed yesterday. Basi umefunikwa na yale maombi ambayo iliomba mali hapa jana. Say amen. Sema amen. Sema amen. Amen. Next back to school service. Ibada ile ingine ya kurudi shuleni. It will be the last weekend before they open. Itakuwa ni ile weekend ya mwisho kabla shule kufunguliwa. Yes. Ndio. Say amen. Amen. So those who are going to school kwa hivyo wale ambao mnarudi shuleni I want you to go and represent Jesus. Nataka mkirudi shuleni mkamwakilishe Yesu. Go and live like born again children. Enda uishi kama mtoto ambaye ameokoka. Uwe na tabia ya Mungu. Amen. Mmesikia watoto? Muwe na tabia ya nani? Ya Mungu. Eh. Shuleni muwe na tabia ya Mungu. Muonyeshe ya kwamba mmetoka katika familia zinamjua Mungu. Amen. Na Mungu wa mbinguni atakuwa na nyinyi. Amen. Ile neema inafanya kazi hapa imewafunika. Amen. Eh wale wanakuja wana kuinishiate watoto katika mambo ya devil worship. Mm. Eh na kuwafanyia vituko mm. awata waona. Amen. Utukufu wa Mungu umewafunika. Amen. Semeni amen. Amen. Semeni amen watoto. Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo tunaenda kukaa na wazazi wetu katika ibada. I want you to go to your parent. Wende. Kama mzazi wako ayuko kwa katika ibada hii nataka ubaki hapa. Amen. Enda kwa mzazi wako. Tunakaa na wazazi na tunanyamaza. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. We adore you. We lay our lives before you. That's to tell you how we love you. Say Jesus, Jesus, we.
Lift up your hands before Jesus. Take a minute and worship Him. Nobody can worship God on your behalf. We bow before you, Jesus. You are the great God. You are the awesome God. You are the faithful God. The only one of Israel. The mighty one of Jacob. Our Redeemer. Our Savior. Our Deliverer. Our Healer. Our Provider. The miracle working God. Receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. What is your name? What is your name? We worship you, Lord. We bow before you. We decrease that you may increase. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Father, have your way. Baba, pata na fasi yako. Heal the sick today. Pwanya wakonjwa leo. Deliver the bound. Kombo alio fungwa. Save sinners. Oko wenye dami. Forgive sins, Lord. Fa, same dami. Align us to your will. Baba, katue katika mapenzi yako. You are the reason for our gathering here. We need your presence. Father, this service without your presence will be nothing. Baba, ibada ibila wewe, baba, itakuwa muna chochote hapa. It will be meaningless. Itakuwa haina, haina maana. How can we gather and miss you? Tutaweza kusanya na tukukose wewe. Father, we are here for you. Baba, tukuwa hapa kwa jili yako. Come down with your power. Oh Lord, let miracles happen here. Like if there be anything that can hinder your presence, Lord, take it away. Have mercy on every one of us. Cleanse every one of us. And Lord, heal our lives. Baba, ponya maisha yetu. Change us by the power of your word. Tubalishe na kubu za neno lako. I give you glory. Patia utukofu. And I give you praise. Patia sifa. In Jesus' name. Kwa jina kula yesu. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Waka mekono kwa mbunya kusireke yesu. Celebrate Jesus. Kireke yesu. Come on English service. I say shout to Jesus. Give him a shout of praise.
ibade kona wageni wengi naona ibade kona wageni wengi salimia jirani yako mwambie karibu katika ibada ya leo karibu mwambie hapa panaitwa Jesus Celebration Center Nataka ni kupatia maana ya Jesus Celebration Center kwa sababu wengine amuelewi. Ndio. Eh. Amuelewi kwa nini tunapiga kelele na tunashangilia. Ndio. Jesus Celebration Center means a place of celebrating Jesus. Inamaanisha mahali pa kusherekea Yesu. So here we jump for Jesus. Hapa tunamrukia Yesu. Here we dance for Jesus. We shout to the loudest. Tunapiga kelele kwa sauti kubwa. And we fear nothing. Because we are a people to celebrate God. And I want you to join me celebrate Jesus. Everybody take your handkerchief. We are going to celebrate God for a minute. I want to I want us to fill this house with the celebration. Because we are here to celebrate Jesus. He is our Lord. Nasema tuko hapa kumshangilia Yesu. Ndio. Yeye ndiye Bwana wetu. Yeye ndiye Mungu wetu. Yeye ndiye mfome wa wafalme. Yeye ndiye mponyaji wetu. Yeye ndiye kimbilio letu. Tunaenda kumshangilia Yesu. Uko tayari? Uko tayari kumshangilia Yesu? We jirani yako sijui kama uko tayari. Uko tayari? Kama uko tayari punga mkono juu. Uko tayari? Uko tayari? Moja mbili tatu sherekea Yesu. Celebrate. Come on somebody celebrate. Praise the Lord. Wale wamekufa wewe kumsifu Bwana. Only the living. Wale wanaishi peke yao. Can they give praise to God? Wanafanya sifa kwa Bwana. Why are people who are alive for Jesus? Shout one more time and give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Thank you choir. Asante waibaji. Amen. Hallelujah. Eh, we need more of that. Tunataka zaidi ya hiyo vuvuzela. When we come to service we come with them. Tunakuja na vuvuzela hizo. And and the filimbis. Na mafirimbi. Eh, where are the whistles? We Ma- need more of them. Tunahitaji firimbi nyingi nyingi. Eh. Ndio. Jumapili nayo kuja. Ndio. Ukikuja kwa ile mlango ukuja na vuvuzela ama filimbi. Amen. Na kupatia hii wiki ununua vuvuzela ama filimbi. Amen. We must celebrate Jesus. Lazima tumsherekee Yesu. Kama unashindwa kupiga kelele na mdomo una una unapuliza filimbi. Amen. Kama unashindwa kuvuliza filimbi unapiga fuvuzela. Amen. This is a place of celebration. Hapa ni mahali pa kusherekea and we must celebrate Jesus. Lazima tumsherekee Yesu. We must look like our name. Lazima tufanane na jina lenu. We are JCC. Sisi ni JCC. Jesus Celebration Center. Jesus Celebration Center. Shout one more time and give him praise. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Ndio. Hata mkikataa kushangilia watoto wanashangilia vizuri. God bless you children. Amen. You know, unajua, <laughs> let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. We are very dignified people in the presence of God. Yaani tuko na watu wangwana sana mbele za Bwana. They don't like sweating. Hawataki jasho nyingi nyingi. Even when we say shout they just clap their hands like this. Hata tusema piga makofi wanafanya tu namna hii kama They are holier than thou. Yaani watakatifu zaidi ya Mungu. They are holier than thou. Yaani watakatifu zaidi ya Mungu. They mwenye. cannot shout. How wewe ukipiga kelele? When the, when you shout they look you like this. Ukipiga kelele ni kama wanakushangaa. They are asking why are you making noise? Sema wewe unapiga kelele bwana. 
ukiwa na mtu anamna hiyo ama haraka kutoka kwake amen huyo ni mtu anaelekea kaburini amen <laughs> nakwambia huyo ni mtu anaelekea kaburini kwa sababu wafu ndio waweze kumsifu Mungu walio hai wanamsifu Mungu amen na kama uko hai uko na wajibu wa kumsifu Mungu amen so don't be dead inside Bible swear kufa umekufa ndani Open up your mouth and shout again yeah. Glory yeah. Amen yeah, Amen Glory to Jesus Roto kwa kwa Yesu You can be seated in the presence of the Lord Unaweza kiti katika weponi mwa Bwana Glory to Jesus Roto kwa kwa Bwana We go to the word of God Tunaenda moja kwa moja kwa neno la Mungu from the book of Eh, from the book of Esther chapter 9 Kitabu ni kile cha Esther mlango wa 9 Esther Esther chapter 9 Kitabu ni kile cha Esther mlango wa 9 Quickly rush there with me Twende pale upesi kabisa Glory to Jesus Utukufu kwa Bwana Want to welcome our online church Nataka kukaribisha kanisa letu la mtandaoni. Yes, God Leo. will reach you wherever you are. Bwa, Mungu atakufikia hapo mahali popote unatuona. And I want you to know that the Lord has a word for you. Nataka kujua kwamba Bwana ako na neno kwa ajili yako. Can you appreciate our online church? Hebu kanisa letu, hebu tuwaenzi kanisa letu la mtandaoni. And I want you to help me preach this gospel. Nataka kukusaidia kuhubiri injili hii. You can share that broadcast to your friends. Hiyo eh hiyo injili basi unaweza kuishiriki kwa mtandaoni na marafiki zako. Go to our page and our JCC South Center page and and share the broadcast. Uende katika ile page yetu JCC South na ukaweze kushiriki na marafiki zako kule nje. Oh you can also go to my page Pastor Titus Musila then that is my page Ata, then you, you share. Basi hata unaweza kwenda kwa page ya mchungaji pastor hivi ametaja na na ukatuma na ukatumia wengine kule. Amen. Amen. Esther chapter 9 verse 1. Kitabu ni cha Esther eh, mlango wa tisa mstari wa kwanza. We will read a few scriptures jumping because I want to preach this word I feel it boiling in me. Tutasoma pale tukirukaruka baadhi baadhi maana nataka kuhubiri maana inachemka ndani yangu. The Bible says now in the 12th month that is the month of Ada on the 13th day of the same when the king's commandment and his decree drew near to be put in execution in the day that the enemies of the Jews hoped to have power over them though it was turned to the contrary and the Jews had the rule over them that hated them katika siku katika siku ya 13 ya mwezi wa 12 yaani mwezi wa adari Amri iliyoagizwa na mfalme ilikuwa itekelezwe. Siku hii adui wa Yahudi walikuwa wametumaini kuwashinda. Lakini sasa mambo yaliwageukia na Wayahudi wakawa eh, wakawashinda wale waliokuwa wanawachukia. Amen. I like NIV translation that that verse one. Penda hiyo mstari wa NIV. It says now in the 13th the day of the 12th month the month of Ada, the edict commanded by the king was to be carried out on this day the enemies of the jews had hoped to overpower them but now the tables were turned and the jews got the upper hand over those who hated them verse 2 start up early The Jews assembled in their cities in all provinces of King Sexus to attack those seeking their destruction. No one could stand against them because the people of all the other nationalities were afraid of them. And all the nobles of the provinces, the sat the satraps, the governors and the kings and uh, the kings and the administrators helped the Jews because fear of Mordecai had assisted them Mordecai was prominent in the palace his reputation spread throughout the provinces and he became more 
and more powerful katika mstari wa pili nasema wayahudi walikusanyika katika mji katika miji yao katika majimbo ya, ya mfalme ahasuero kuwashambulia wale wa, e, waliokuwa wanatafuta kuangamiza hakuna yoyote aliyeweza kushindana na, 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 na nao kwa sababu watu wa mataifa mengine wote waliwaogopa mstari wa tatu mstari wa ine, ni wa tatu nao wakuu wote wa majimbo majemedari matawala na mataifa ya wafalme wakawasaidia wayahudi kwa sababu walimhofu Mordecai verse 12 mstari wa 12 and the king said unto Esther the queen the Jews have slain and destroyed 500 men in Susan the palace and the and ten sons of Ammon and the uh, uh, and the ten sons of Ammon what have they done in the rest of the king's provinces now what is thy petition and it shall be granted thee or what is thy request father Falme akamwambia Malkia Esther Wayahudi wamewaua wanaume 500 na wana kumi wa Hanani ndani ya ngome ya Shushani wamewafanyaje wame wamewafanyaje katika majimbo mengine ya mfalme yaliobaki je sasa haja yako ni nini nayo pia utapewa nalo ombi lako ni nini nalo litafanyiwa verse 16 but the other Jews that were in the king's provinces gathered themselves together and stood for their lives and had rest from their enemies and slew of their force 70 and 5000 but they laid not their end their ends on the prey wakati ule ule wa yahudi wengine waliokuwa kwenye majimbo ya mfalme wakakusanyika kujilinda nao wakapata nafuu kutokana na adui zao wali waliua adui zao wapata 1075 lakini hawakugusa nyara zao verse 17 underline it basi mstari wa 17 weka mstari hapo on the 13th day of the month ada and of the 14th day of the same rested they and made it a day of feasting and gladness hili hili lilitendeka li, li siku ya kumi na tatu ya mwezi wa adari na siku ya kumi na nne walipumzika na 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 kuifanya siku ya karamu na furaha verse 19 mstari wa 19 therefore the Jews of the villages that dwelt in the and all the towns made the 14th day of the month ada a day of gladness and feasting and a good day and of sending portions one to another ndio sababu wa yahudi wanaokaa vijijini na katika miji midogo huadhimisha siku ya 14 ya mwezi wa adari kama siku ya furaha na karamu siku ambao wao e, siku ambao wao hupeana zawadi moja kwa mwingine as the days verse 22 as the days were in the jews rested from their enemies and the man which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy underline that verse welcome study who and from morning into a good day that they should make them days of feasting and joy and of sending portions one to another and he gives to the poor verse 23 and the Jews undertook to do as they had begun and as Mordecai had written unto them basi mstari wa 22 nasema kama kama wakati ambao wayahudi walipata nafuu kutoka kwa adui zao na kama mwezi ambao huzuni yao iligeuzwa kuwa furaha na kuomboleza kwao kuwa siku ya kusherekea aliwaandikia aliwaandikia kushika siku hizo kama siku za karamu na za furaha na kupeana zawadi za vyakula wao kwa wao na zawadi kwa maskini mstari wa 23 na 
Hivyo Wayahudi walikubali kuendeleza sherehe walizokuwa wamezianza walifanya lile Mordekai alilokuwa amewaandikia verse 25 mstari wa 25 the last verse that I will read in that chapter mstari wa mwisho ndo tutasoma mahali pale but when Esther came before the king he commanded by letters that is wicked device which he devised against the Jews should he return upon his own head and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows lakini wakati shauri hilo mbaya lilipoarifiwa kwa mfalme alitoa amri aliyo iliyoandikwa kwamba mipango mibaya ambayo Hanani ameipanga dhidi ya Wayahudi inapaswa mrudie juu ju ya kichwa chake mwenyewe na kwamba yeye na wanawe waangikwe mahali pa kunyongea watu amen amen somebody say amen Mtu sema amina. May the Lord bless the reading of his word this Wana morning. Ya leo. I want to share with you. Na wewe. A message God has put in my spirit. Ujumbe roho yangu. I don't know whether you, you are ready for it. Yes, kama weko na utayari na hii. But I came to speak to you prophetically today. Na nimekuja kukunenea kinabii siku ya leo. And the Lord is going to confirm every word that is going to use me to speak to you today. Na Bwana anaenda kudhibitisha kile neno ambao anaenda kunitumia kulinena juu yako siku ya leo. Somebody say amen. Mtu sema amina. Somebody say amen. Mtu sema amina. I am speaking to you on the message I have entitled. Na nena na wewe kuhusu ujumbe ambao nimepatia kichwa. God is overturning tables to your favor. Bwana anabadilisha kila meza kwa sababu ya kibali chako. Ah, you are too quiet on me. Wewe umenyamaza sana kwangu. Turn to your neighbor tell them God. Jeje jina lako mwambie Mungu. I say look on your neighbor Nimesema, on the left tazama, and on the right. Na kushoto na kulia. Tell them God. Mwambie Mungu. Shake them a bit because they are dozing. Hebu mtingize maana wengine nasinzia. Tell them God. Mwambie Mungu. Is turning tables. Ana ananageuza meza. To your favor. Kwa kibali chako ama upande wako. One thing I want you to understand. Jambo moja nataka uelewe. The enemy is a schemer. Yaani ya kwamba adui ni mtu mpanga njama. I say the enemy is a schemer. Ya kwamba adui huwa anapanga ni mpanga njama. And I want you to know that the enemy doesn't love you. Na nataka kujua kwamba shetani adui huwa akupendi. He hates you so much. Anakuchukia zaidi. His, his plan is for you to be destroyed. Mpango wake ni kwamba wewe usambaratike na uharibike. That is why he always schemes evil against the children of God. Yondo maala kila mara anapanga njama mbovu kwa mimi na watoto wa Mungu. That is why the enemy does not does not get tired of scheming against the children of God. Yondo maana shetani achoke na kupanga njama mbaki kwa mimi na watoto wa Mungu. But I came to tell you. Nimekuja kukwambieni It doesn't matter the scheme of the enemy. It doesn't matter what the devil plans against you. The Bible says no weapon. From the genesis you shall prosper. And I came to declare to your lives. It doesn't matter the scheme of the enemy. Against your life. Against your business. Against your marriage. I came to declare that the scheme will not prevail. I came to say it will not prevail. God is overturning tables. I don't know whom I'm speaking to. But I came to prophesy to somebody. You might not be knowing what the enemy has been scheming against you. But whether you know it or not The truth is this The enemy will always scheme evil against you There are people who feel bad when they see you Even David says they keep on asking David says they keep on asking 
huyo mtu atakufa lini hey. na jina lake lisaulike ndio there are people who desire you to die kuna watu wanatamani wewe ukufe mbona mnakaa ni kama mnakaanga mbinguni mm. ambia jirani yako wacha kujifanya wacha kujifanya iwe unajua ama ujui ukweli ni ya kwamba kuna maadui hawakupendi kuna watu hawakupendi kuna watu wanakupangia njama kila wakati Dio. pale kazini unafanya kazi there are people who scheme evil against you njama mpovu kinyume na wewe there are people who hate you without any reason kuna wanachukua wanakuchukia bila sababu others hate you because you are beautiful wengine wanachukia sababu wewe ni mrembo mno others hate you because you are married and they are not married wengine wanachukia sababu wewe umeolewa na hao bali others hate you because you have children wanachukia bana mwana watoto and your children are doing well watoto wako wanafanya vizuri others hate you wengine wanakuchukia because you love god maana unampenda mungu But I came to say it doesn't matter who hates you. I said it doesn't matter who hates you. God is overturning tables to your favor. I came to declare to your enemies. I say I came to declare to your enemies. God is assuming them. I say God is assuming them. I came to declare this is not your battle. This is the Lord's battle your life is the agenda of god i say you are alive is the agenda of god i say you are alive is the agenda of god and i came to declare it doesn't matter those who stand to oppose you god will oppose them god will bring them down he will defeat them before your eyes if you believe it shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah stand up give your neighbor high five tell them god is overturning tables for your favor eh ambia jirani mungu anainamisha meza anabandilisha meza sikupea upewe kipendeleo katika jina la yesu nimekuja kuongea na mashetani nimekuja kuongea na maro yanao skim mabaya kinyume chako nimekuja kutangaza ya tafaulu wachawi wa soweto wanao kuonea hawatafaulu katika jina la Yesu wale wanakuroga na maneno yao nimekuja kutangaza maneno yao hayatafaulu nimekuja kutangaza haijalishi jama ni gani aliyopanga adui bwana anayangamiza somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah I came to declare this is your season for God to favor you I say this is your season for God to favor you you better believe what I am saying to you because it is going to happen to your life Somebody say amen. Somebody say this is my season. For the Lord to show me favor. Declare it to say this is my season. For God to show me favor. Say it doesn't matter. What the enemy has schemed against me. God is overturning tables to my favor. I declare to your life may you receive it i say may you receive it may the lord overturn tables to favor you in the name of jesus i came to declare the enemy will not have upper hand over you somebody shout hallelujah wale wanda kuchezeanga those who play around with your life wale na kuchezea chezea They think you don't have God. Wanafikiria kwamba hauna Mungu. They think you don't have anyone who can defend you. You can be seated. kwamba hauna ambaye ni wa kukutetea. I came to declare God is arising on your behalf. Nimekuja kutangaza kwamba Bwana ananuka kwa niaba yako. This is a clear indication. Hii ni ishara ya kuonekana wazi. The book of Esther. Tabu cha Esther. 
The Bible speaks about the Jews. Jews are the children of God. They are in covenant with God. They are in covenant with God. The same way you are in covenant with God. Covenant of salvation. Salvation is a covenant. And that covenant carries your protection. Carries your success. Carries your divine health. We actually say salvation is a package. You see when you go to supermarket. supermarket To do shopping. Kufanya pale shopping yako. You buy rice. You pick sugar. You pick bread. You pick milk. You pick uh, some several things. And when you pay in the counter, in the, in the till, where you pay, they package you your goods. Yes, that is what we call a package. Your sugar is there, your bread is there, Shukari, everything they put it in a box. Pale, kama ni kwa box or in a basket. Ama ni kwa kikapu. And they give you your package. Na, kwa lako. Salvation is a package. Wokobu pia ni I have used that example so that you will be able to understand. Ili when wazuzu. God gives you salvation, he Mungu, gives you that package. Mungu wakobu, that package carries your healing. Yo, yo, inabebo that package carries your deliverance. That package carries your prosperity. That package carries everything you need. So when you enter into, a, into salvation, you are in covenant with God. And God has a responsibility to protect you, to fight your battles. He has a responsibility to provide for you because you are in covenant with Him. Somebody say amen. So the Jews, they are in covenant with God. And the Bible says, because God chose them and they are peculiar. Their behavior is not like the behavior of the other people of the nations. Uh-huh. Mm. That is why when you get born again, you cannot behave like other people. Your behavior must change. Your code, your code of conduct must be right. You must live like a child of covenant. You must live like somebody who knows God. Say amen. Sema amina. So the Bible says, Marikina Sema, there arose an enemy who called, who is called Ammon. Amba anetu anani. And Ammon began to hate the Jews because of Mordecai. Amani akaza kuchukia maitu sababu Mordecai. Mordecai was one of the soldiers in the gates, in the king's gates. Mordecai kwa moja walizi katika mama jengo ya. And the Bible says when, 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 when Amman was elevated. Wakati, mandizu mea, wakati Amani halipo inuliwa juu. Or when he was given promotion. Halipo pandishwa cheo cha juu. When he used to come through the gate, all the other soldiers that were in the gate would bow down to him. And they would bow to him because they are not Jews. But Mordecai was a Jew. He knew he cannot bow to a man. He knew the only person I can bow to is God. So when Ammon was when when Ammon would come and pass through the gate and see others bow, but Mordecai could not bow. Wakati Ammon angepita pa na ane wengine angepiga lakini Mordecai angepiga magoti. That thing made him bitter. It provoked hatred. And he said, 
Why is this man who cannot bow to me while others are bowing? Do you know there are things that the devil does because he wants you to bow to him? But I came to say to the devil we will not bow to him. Those who wants us to bow to them, we will not bow to them. We know where to pay our reference to. Our God is the only one who deserves to be worshipped. We will not bow to problems. We will not bow to the witches. We will not bow to sicknesses and diseases. Those enemies who want you to bow to them, I came to declare you will not bow to them. In the name of Jesus, God will not allow you to bow to them. Wale wana kuambia utateseka ndi uwendo ukawainamie. Nimekuja kuambia pole sana. Wasome lebo. Auta wainamia kwa jina la Yesu. God is coming your way. God is elevating you. God is blessing your life. He will never allow you to break. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not beg. I say you will not beg. Ah, Dio ninapenda Biblia Ayubu vile anasema kitabu cha Ayubu 20. Ah, anasema anasema hata hata anasema hata hata yule muofu. Ukuu wake hujapopanda mpaka mbinguni. Hata kwenye mawingu maandiko inasema hata hivyo ataangamia kama mafi yake mwenyewe it doesn't matter how great they become i said it doesn't matter how great the wicked becomes you are too quiet on me i say i jalish hata kama ni boss wako na boss wako ndiye muofu hata pandishe tio namna gani Bwana atakubali ya kuone. Watapotea kama mafi yao. Hey. Hey. Kwani mbona unaniangalia hivyo kwani ni mimi siwasomei wa mstari mtu wa Mungu. Siwasomea watu wacha kuniangalia hivyo. Mbona nikiongea hivyo mnaona ni kama ninaongea vitu za Job chapter 20. Ayubu Ayubu mlango wa 20. Let us read it together. Verse. You see it is good to know the word. Ni vyema kujua neno. Can you look verse 7? Mstari mstari wa 7. Zubri dikataya. Let me see Job chapter. Las kutura basaya. Zubri skitilis kuture bush. Yes, verse. Verse yes. Begin verse 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 6, verse 5. Verse kuanzia mstari wa 5. Eh, anza mstari wa 4. Inasema nje ujui neno hili. Eh, soma hiyo. Hakika unajua jinsi eh. ilivyokuwa eh, tangu zamani. Eh. Tangu zamani mwanadamu eh. alipowekwa duniani. Eh. Macheko ya mtu muovu ni ya muda mfupi. Macheko ya mtu muovu mm. ni ya muda mfupi. Ndio. Biblia ya Kiingereza inasema the triumphing of the wicked man uh-huh. is for a moment short yeah. is for one minute Dio. The triumphing of the wicked yani, yani I came to speak to the wicked men to the wicked people watu wa who think they will rule over you who think they will sit on your family I came to declare the triumphing moment is over I say the triumphing moment is over Say amen Amen Eh ya kuwa macheko ya waovu ni nini? Ni ya muda mfupi. Eh. Eh. Endelea. Nayo furaha ya wasiomcha Mungu. Na furaha ya wasiomcha Mungu hudumu kwa kitambo tu, kwa kitambo tu. Eh. eh endelea verse 6. Ingawaji eh ingawaji kujikweza kwake, kujikweza kwake hufikia mbinguni eh sikiliza. na kichwa chake hugusa mawingu. Hebu sikiliza hii. Eh. Hiyo hiyo tafsiri yako ya Kiswahili ni tofauti na hii. Uh-huh. Hii inasema ujapopanda ukuu wake mpaka mbinguni. Uh-huh. 
na kichwa chake kufikilia mawingu ndio hata hivyo ataangamia milele kama mafi yake mwenyewe au waliomwona watasema yuko wapi ndio eh ni mimi nimesema hiyo maandiko ni mimi unajua shida yako ni vile usomangi biblia anasema muof ndio hata ukuu wake hujapopanda mpaka mawinguni ndio hata kichwa chake kipande mpaka mawinguni ndio ataangamia kama mafi yake mwenyewe Dio. na nimekuja kutangaza kuna vitu bwana anaondoa katika maisha yako Amen. kuna watu wanaenda kuangamia kama mafi yao wenyewe Somebody shout hallelujah. Today I didn't come with a good gospel. I came for warfare. I say I came for warfare. I came for battle. There is somebody who must be released. There is somebody today who God must vindicate them. I say there is somebody today who God must vindicate them. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sema amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo usitishiwe na waovu. Amen. Ambia jirani yako usitishiwe na waovu. Usitishiwe na waovu. Eh, usitishiwe na waovu. Amen. Eh. Aman. Aman. When he got a promotion. Alipopandishwa cheo he wanted the Mordecai to bow to him. Alitaka Mordecai ampige magoti kumwinamia. You see most of the times I say, unajua wakati mwingine wanasema hivi, we will never know who you are. Hatutajua wewe ni nani. We will never know how wicked you are. Hatutajua uovu wako ama kiwango chako cha uovu until God elevates you. Mpaka Mungu akuinue juu. Until God until God gives you authority or a position a high position ama mpaka Mungu akuinua ama akupatie cheo ama nafasi ya juu kule hatutawajua kama wewe ni wicked hatuta eh hatutawajua kama wewe ni wicked eh. wickedness yako inadhihirika wakati Mungu amekuinua eh wakati umefanywa boss eh na wale wengine eh. unataka kuwafinyilia wasikie hivyo wajua wewe ndiye boss mm watia akili Unawaambia mtanifeel. Mtanifeel. <laughs> Nitawatia pressure mtanisikia. <laughs> that is what that is what wicked men do. Hiyo ndio waovu ufanya vitu kama hizo. There are people who look so humble. Kuna watu ambao kwa nje wamekana wamenyenyekea. You think they are very humble? Unafikiria kwamba ni wanyenyekevu? Hey. Ah. Wait for God to elevate them. Wacha Mungu awapatie nafasi ama awainue ama cheo wengine watakuwa anawaambia mpaka muninguze viatu miguu mm. <laughs> kama vile you see my grandmother was was very was very tough yani nyanya kwake alikuwa ni eh. kwa discipline eh kwa nidhamu alikuwa anatuambia nitawa discipline mpaka mkisikia nikikooa mnaitika eh. mnaitika <laughs> yani kukooa hivi tu <laughs> Anaitika. Unasikia ni kama amekuita unakimbia. <laughs> And they are wicked people. Na kuna watu waovu when they rise to power. Wanapoendikwa kwa cheo juu. They want to destroy others. Wanataka kuangamiza wengine. But God does not give you power to destroy others. Lakini Mungu akupatie nafasi ama cheo ili uangamie. When God elevates you, he elevates you so that you can be able to take care of those who are below you. Mungu anapopandisha cheo na pandisha cheo ile kwamba ukaweza kushughulikia wale ambao wako chini. I know I'm speaking to bosses here. Na najua naongea pale na waajiri ama mabosi hapa. Even if even if that person you have employed is your own son. Hata ule ambao umemwajiria ni mwana wako binafsi mwenyewe. You should never mistreat them. Au stali kumfanyia makosa ama kumtendea mabaya. We are very very born again people who are very wicked. Kuna watu ambao tunajua wameokoka lakini waovu kabisa. Very wicked. Waovu. Wicked more than the devil himself. Yaani waovu wote zaidi ya shetani mwenyewe. Eh. Mm. Eh wanatesa hata mates. Mm. Yaani wewe Unakula ile chakula unakula mhm maid hawezi kula mhm akakule endo akakulia huko jikoni eh ukulie jikoni huko utakula tukimaliza kukula ehe 
You are wicked. I say you are very wicked more than the devil. And you need to be born again. God does not make you a boss so that you may, you may, you may, you may, you may. You may, you may oppress others. Mungu akufanya kuwa mkubwa maboss ama mwajiri. Or you may mistreat others. Ili utumikie wengine vibaya ama kuwaonea vibaya. And if you be that kind of person. Na kama wewe ni mtu sample hiyo. I tell you the truth. Na kuambia ukweli. Power as expiry time. Mamlaka ama nguvu ina wakati wake wa kuisha. It expires. Huwa inaishanga ukitaka vizuri mm. uliza uhuru mwigai kinyata eh. he was our president alikuwa ni rais wetu now we call him our former our former mm. who is the current president nani ndio rais who was his deputy ambaye alikuwa ni mdogo wake and i salute him na nampigia salute na mheshimu that one shows you power as expiry period. Hiyo inakuonyesha kwamba kuwa na mamlaka ama nguvu ina mwisho wake. So when God elevates you take care of others. Kwa hivyo wakati Mungu anapanisha cheo anaangalia. Let people we... enjoy because you are in power. Wacha watu wafurahikie maana uko pale juu kwa Let people wetu. enjoy because you are their boss. Wacha watu wafurahikie maana wewe ndio boss wao. Every time they go to kneel down to pray they say oh God bless my boss. Wa, he is so a wonderful person. Bariki mkubwa wangu ule ni mtu wa ajabu, mtu mzuri mno. But every time you call your servants every time they go to pray they they they, they cry to god they Kit- say oh god what kind of man is this bwana umetupatia mtu aina gani sampuli huyu baraduli huyu they begin to curse you wanaanza kukulani baraduli huyu you see there is one of our english teacher who told us of another student kuna mwalimu wetu atuambia juu ya mtoto mwingine eh a student mwanafunzi eh who was told to write about their teacher Ali, ali they were ambua. given they were given a composition writing you Ma. know you know in school we write composition pale shuleni watu andika composition so the ending was about my teacher ile kichwa ilikuwa my class teacher mwalimu wangu wa darasa and the class teacher was so cruel to that boy na ule mwalimu alikuwa ni mpaya sana kwa every mwana. time he would beat that boy kila wakati angemchapa even without a reason hata bila sababu he was very cruel alikuwa mwovu kwa huyo so mtu. when he was given to write the composition about my 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 class teacher alipambo andika juu ya mwalimu wake do you know do you know how the child <laughs> began began writing unajua mtoto alianza kuandika nini the opening remarks akasema hayo hii ndio kumbuzi mange chibazi i wonder why god created you <laughs> is calling the teacher anaita mwalimu na majina yake is writing is writing about <laughs> anaandika juu ya mwalimu my teacher eh hey, juu ya mwalimu wangu hey, my class teacher and he says he begins by mangi chibazi <laughs> i wonder why god created you yani hiyo jina alafu na shangaa sababu gani mungu alikuumba do you think that child was writing from a clean heart najua mtoto unafikiria alikuwa calling a teacher that way ana anaita mwalimu hiyo because I, the teacher was very cruel. Mara huyo mwalimu alikuwa mwovu sana. Huyo mtoto aliangalia aliangalia cruelty ya huyo mwalimu akaona nitamdescribe nini? Akasema nitamlinganisha na mange chimbazi. Ile tumpili na nyani yenyewe ile sura mbaya. You see when you are cruel to people. Unajua unapokuwa mwovu kwa watu even when they go to pray they curse you. Hata wanapenda kuomba hata wanakulaani. But when you be good to them. Unapokuwa mzuri kwa watu and you treat them well. Na unawafanyia wema. You get a blessing from the Lord. Unapata baraka kutoka kwa Bwana. And you begin to prosper. Na unaanza kufanikiwa. And that is why I want to tell you if you are here and you are a boss. Na nataka kuambia kama uko hapa na wewe ni authority. Wewe ni mkubwa uko kwa mamlaka. You must treat those who are below you very well. Wale wako chini yako wafanyie wema na wao. Let them be happy about you. Watendee wema kufurahikia na wewe. I don't say that you allow them to joke with you. Si sema kwamba wawakilize. Let there be that demarcation. Wacha kuwe na hiyo mpaka. But also treat them as human beings. Lakini pia wafanye kama binadamu ama kama watu. It is only grace that has elevated you. Ni neema tu ya Mungu imekuinua. You are not better than them. Wewe sio bora kuliko. It is mercy that the Lord has shown you. Ni neema tu ya Mungu amekuinua. So because he has shown you mercy. Maana amekosha neema. Also show them mercy. Wewe unyeshana neema. Treat them well. Wafanyie wema. Love them. Wapende. Somebody say amen. Mtu sema amina. 
And you know this is what happened to Aman. Aman. Aman hated Mordecai. Because Mordecai could not bow. And he, he wanted to revenge. He took it in himself. To revenge. And he said I will not destroy Mordecai alone. Because Mordecai has failed to bow to me. I will destroy Mordecai and the entire entire tribe of Jews. So the other Jews were, were, were dying because of Mordecai. Because of Mordecai. And he began to scheme. He, the Bible says even he went, he went to the witches. One year. Every day. Every week. Kila wiki. Every every month, kila mwezi, twelve months, mwezi kumi na mili, consulting with the witches. Yana akishirikiana na wachao. On which on on which is the best day? Ambapo ni siku gani mzuri mwafaka? That when he goes to speak to the king. Ambapo akienda kumwagia kwa mfalme. About destroying the Jews. Kwa mbata na karibu wa yaudi, the king would give him go ahead. Mfalme angem 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 patia rusa. And uh, the day came. Chapter 9 where we have read The Bible says The king had already given A man go ahead to destroy the Jews He even, he even gave him his ring You know that time the ring of the king Was, was the sign was the, was the one used to to put the signet. Uh, so when he gave him, he wrote the letters and put the signature with the king's ring. That, that indicated it is a kingly command. And nobody can go against the kingly command. So it was it was it was it was certain that the Jews must be destroyed. But blessed be our God. Who will never let us in the hands of our enemies. I say blessed be our God. Who causes us to triumph always. It doesn't matter what the enemy schemes against. I want you to know. You will always triumph over his schemes. Ninasema haijalishi shetani. Ndio. Anakupangia nini? Ndio. Kila wakati utapaa juu ya mipango yake. Amen. Kila wakati utapanga utapaa juu ya jama zake. Ndio. Hakuna siku ambayo shetani atakuwai. Ndio. Hata wale wamekuwekea mitego uingie katika mitego yao. Ndio. You will never end in their traps. May the Lord deliver you. I say, May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord deliver you from their traps. May the Lord deliver you from their schemes. Those who wish you bad. Wala wana kupangia mabaya. Bwana akukomboe na mabaya yao. Amen. Ninasema Bwana akukomboe na mabaya yao. Amen. Wale wamepanga kukuwekea vitina Dio. katika kazi yako. Ninasema Bwana akukomboe na wao. Amen. Chama zao azitafaulu. Katika jina la Yesu. Nimekuja kutangaza Dio. kuna Mungu anatetea watoto wake. Kuna Mungu anapigania watoto wake. Na nimekuja kukuambia leo. Dio. Bwana atakupigania. Haijalishi yeah. vita vyako. Haijalishi yeah. shetani amepanga nini. Yeah. I have come to declare yeah. the Lord is rescuing yeah. you. Somebody stand up and shout hallelujah. Somebody say I will always escape. Can you declare with the power say I will always escape the traps of the enemy. Say I will always triumph. I declare by the anointing receive the grace to triumph. 
receive the grace to escape from all the snares of the enemy may you escape from all the traps of the devil I declare no curse of the enemy will bring you down in the name of Jesus I came to declare the principalities of Soweto will not put you down God is fighting you about God is fighting you a battle. I say God is fighting you a battle. Nina sema bwana anapigana vita vyako. Eh, dio. Bwana apigania watu wake. Amen. Dio. God is fighting for his people. Bwana apigania watu wake. I don't know whom I'm sent to, but I'm preaching to myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am getting blessed by this message. Say amen. God is overturning tables. I love verse 9, chapter 9, verse 1. The Bible says when the day came, for Jews to be destroyed by their enemies, their enemies were ready. Wao walikuwa tiari tiari. Walikuwa washafanya warm up. Ndio. Wakafanya training ya kila aina. Ndio. Eh, eh. wanangojea hiyo siku ifike. Ndio. Walikuwa washanoa panga eh. ziko tayari. Ziko tayari. Bunduki washaweka risasi ziko sawa. Ndio. Najua ama nalikuwa naotea Mordecai. Alikuwa anasema kwanza kaka Mordecai nitakapiga tu risasi moja hivi. Moja kwisha. Sitakakosa. Moja kwisha. Can you be seated for a minute because we are closing? Yeah, Kate, mana to nafunga. Skiza. Eh. Iyo siku ilipo fika. Eh. Iyo siku. Somebody say that day. Iyo siku. Iyo siku ilipo fika hivyo. Ndiyo. Wanangojea tu filimbi ipigwe. Eh. Eh. Sunajua ni kama vile watu wanangojeanga siku ya kura. Hmm. Wanangojia vituo vifunguliwa wa rauke. Hmm. Na zamani ilikuwa ya kwamba saa ya kupiga kura ikifika mukienda. Ikifika hivi tu, muna piga filimbi. Hey. Kuambia majirani, masai mefika ya kuenda kufanya uchaguzi. Hmm. So, awa walikuwa wanangojia filimbi ya kuaribu jius. Iyo hmm. siku tu, imefika. Hmm. When the day came, the Bible says, the enemies of Jews were ready to destroy them. But they never knew that God had already overturned the tables in the realm of the Spirit. The day that they were expecting to destroy Jews, God overturned the tables to the favor of Jews. And the Bible says the Jews had upper hands over they are enemies and I came to declare today I am prophesying to your life I say I am prophesying to your life I say today I say today Sunday today Sunday of 22nd January 2023 I say God is overturning tables in the realm of the spirit to your favor whatever the enemy and the plant against you it is backfiring I say it is backfiring I say it is backfiring it is going back to them seven times somebody shout hallelujah nina sema leo kile adui alikuwa mekupangia buwana anabandilisha kiwarudia mara saba nasema kiwarudia mara saba katika jina la yesu wale walikuwa wamejianda kufanya mazishi mwaka huu katika familia yenu Ninatangasa kuta kuwa na mazishi God is overturning tables Katika jina la yes Wale walikuwa wanangojea Wewe uwe hat Ninatangasa Auta umizwa Auta umizwa Eh Eh 
Dio. Wale wanangojea waone uchi wako. Dio. Wale wanangojea waone uchi wako. Eh. Na waambia pole sana. Dio. Amen. Waambia pole sana. Dio. Kama kuna yote alikuwa anangojea. Eh. Akuchekele. Eh. Pole sana. Amen. Awatacheka. Amen. Badala ya kucheka wao ndio watalia. Amen. Nasema badala ya kucheka wao ndio watalia. Amen. Wale wanangojea ufutwe kazi badala ya wewe ufutwe kazi wao ndio wanaenda Dio. na unapewa promotion Dio. nasema na unapewa promotion Dio. wale wanangoja ufukuzwe katika ndoa yako ninatangaza au utafukuzwa unajua inabarikiwa na watoto watoto leo inaonekana message ni yao kwa sababu wao ndio ninaona wanaleta sadaka hapa. Yeah. Yaani wanabarikiwa sana kupita nyingi. Uh-huh. Hebu pigie watoto makofi. Uh-huh. Watoto ndio naona. It doesn't matter. Haijalishi. It doesn't matter kama ninaongea na watoto. Hmm. I am speaking to a generation. Amen. Na nena na kizazi. I said it doesn't matter. Haijalishi. What the enemy has planned against. Unajua your problem is you are too blind you cannot see. Mm. Unafikiri watu wote wakikusalimia wakikuchekesha wote wanakucheka wanakupenda hivi. Uda why soma katika Biblia? Mm. Kuna watu wanakubariki na midomo yao mm. lakini wanakulaani ndani ya mioyo yao. Eh. Wengine wanakupatia kicheko. Unafikiria wanakuchekesha kutoka ndani? He, nile naitwa plastic smile. He. Ile tabasamu ya juju. Bwana Yesu apresi. Amen. I pray that God will open your eyes. Naomba Bwana laite afungue macho yako. I pray. Listen. Sikia. I pray that God will expose every hidden enemy in your life. Bwana kafichue kile adui amefichika maishani mwako. Hata wale wanajifanya wanakupenda. Ndio. Na wana wako na unafiki ndani yao. Ndio. Bwana awafichue. Awafichue. Ndio. Tap your right hand and say Lord. Bwana expose them. Wafichue. Say Lord. Bwana expose. Wafichue. Every enemy in my life. Adui maishani mwangu. May they be exposed. Wakafichuliwe. Bwana wafichue nguo waone. Ndio. Ujue their true colors. Ndio. Ujue who they are. Ujue nani yao. Sema amen. Amen. You think you think they love you? Unafikiria nakupenda? There are people who get irritated. Kuna watu wanagadhabishwa na kufanikiwa kwako. Inawasumbua. Kuna watu wanaumwa na kufaulu kwako. Eh, wanaumwa. Nakwambia ukweli. Mm. They are called enemies of progress. Yaani wale ni maadui wa maendeleo. Wako na roho ya uchawi. Eh. Hey. Roho ya uchawi. Ndio. Nitakwambia, nitakwambia mtu aliye na roho ya uchawi. Mm. Ukiona umevaa vizuri na mtu anakasirika umevaa vizuri, hata mm-hmm. wezi kukuambia umevaa vizuri. Huyo mm-hmm. ni mchawi wa kwanza. Hey. Hey. Jerani yako alikwambia uko smart. Jirani yako alikwambia uko smart. Hebu muangalie vizuri, hebu muulize unanipangia nini? <laughs> Wewe ni aje. <laughs> Wewe ni aje. <laughs> <laughs> alikwambia uko smart. <laughs> Halinyamaza. Unajua <laughs> 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 kuna mwingine alikuwa na roga family nyingine na kila asubuhi alikuwa anamka kwenda kwa Julia hali. <laughs> Usiku analala kiwaroga asubuhi. Utafikiria huyu huyu jirani ni mjirani mzuri, ni jirani mwema. <laughs> Anakuja kuconfirm ile uchawi aliachilia kama imefanya kazi. Uja kwa mbiamkaji mnaendelea aje. 
anafikia mnasema naendelea vizuri lakini ni kichwa tu kidogo inaniumba ukisema hivyo anarudi anajua ni sawa kichwa sasa ninaenda kukaza zaidi eh. koroga zaidi eh. wakati utasikia mtu anakuuliza mwio kwa <laughs> eh mpo eh asande mama Mungu akubariki eh Uta, wakati utasikia mtu anakuuliza mpo bado mpo kwani tupo atupo tulienda wapi <laughs> eh bado mpo ukisikia mtu anakuuliza hivyo muangalie mara mbili <laughs> Inamaanisha kuna kuna agenda alikuwa anatekeleza na alikuwa ndao confirm kama imefanya kazi. <laughs> Lakini haijalishi agenda zao azitafanya kazi. Amen. Sema amen. Amen. Bwana anapinduanisha meza is overturning tables to your favor. Anageuza meza kwa kwa niaba yake. Ninakutangazia katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Mwaka huu wa 2023. Amen. Hakuna njama ya adui tafaulu juu yako. Amen. Hakuna mpango wa adui utafanikiwa kinyume chake. Amen. Hakuna adui atajitukuza juu yako. Amen. Kila njama watapanga. Ndio. Bwana atailipua. Ndio. Bwana atayaribu. Ndio. Na atakupa kuwatawala. Ndio. Sema amen. Amen. Maandiko yanasema hiyo siku ilipofika. Ndio. Wayahudi waliwatawala. Ndio. Eh, sikiza. Wayahudi Wayahudi waliwatawala. Ndio. Walitawala wale ambao walikuwa wanataka kuwaangamiza. Ehe. Bwana kupatie neema ya kutawala wale ambao wanataka kukuangamiza. Nasema Bwana kupe neema. Uwatawale kibiashara. Nasema watawale kibiashara. Wawe wanakuja kuomba msaada kwako. Eh. Ndio. Nasema wao wanakuja kuomba msaada kwako. Ndio. Wanakuja kuomba uwasaidie. Katika jina la Yesu. Ndio. Ninakutangazia chini upoko wa Roho Mtakatifu, chini ya mafuta ya Mungu. Dio. Katika jina la Yesu, Dio. nikiwa nimesimama kwa imadhabau ya Mungu, ninakutangazia kwa jina la Yesu. Ukatawale maadui zako. Nasema ukawatawale. Dio. Wale wa kuchukiao. Ukawatawale wale inua mkono wako sema bwana bwana nipatie neema ya kuwatawala wale wanichukiao e, wale wa kutakeo mabaya bwana kupe neema ya kuwatawala amen god is overturning tables do you have favor receive the anointing receive the grace to triumph receive the anointing to go above them. somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah shout glory to jesus i am feeling good something is happening in your life nimekuja nikuambie mali shetani alikufungia leo unaondoka you are coming out of their prison you are coming out of their bondage you are coming out of their captivity in the name of jesus god is giving you voice is giving you voice over your enemies Sema amen Amen Sikiza Ndio hata wale majirani wetu hapa hawana choice ila kutupenda Amen Ambia jirani yako hauna choice ila kunipenda Hauna chaguo ila kunipenda Mwambie Mwambie utanipenda tu hivyo nilivyo. Utanipenda hivyo tu nilivyo. Eh, la sivyo. La sivyo. Si muangalie vizuri mwambie la sivyo. La sivyo. Nitakutawala. Nitakutawala. Kwa hivyo unipende hivyo nilivyo. Hata majirani zetu hapa. Mm. They have to love us. Lazima watupende. 
It doesn't matter what the enemy had schemed against this sender. God is overturning tables in the realm of the spirit. The witches that have been bewitching this sender so that it will never stand. I declare God is wiping them away. We are taking dominion. I say we are taking dominion. Somebody say I am taking dominion. We are taking dominion in Likone. We are taking dominion in the South Coast. We are taking dominion in our businesses. We are taking dominion in everywhere. I say we are taking dominion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shaka Palaganabos. Zoparagadabaya Zoparakota Sekapa Amen. Amen. Can I read this verse as I close? Yen Zomem Tari in Yonifunga. Yen Zomem Tari in Anibarik. Deo. As I close. Napo Funga. Skiliza. Skiliza. Deo. I want to leave you Esther. Esther. Chapter 9. Zolos Kapalis Kapaya. Skiliza. Skiliza. In a sema, in a sema verse 22. Eh. Mandiko in a sema ambazo ni siku wa Yahudi. Walipo jipatia ra. Mbele ya adui zao. Na mwezi ulio geuzwa kwao kuwa fura badala ya uzuni. Eh. Iyo siku. Ilibidi. Even in the Jewish calendar they, they celebrate that day. Waliifanya siku kuu kuwa sherehe. Ndio. Ile siku ambayo walikuwa wamepangiwa kuuawa. Ndio. Imebandilika ikawa ni siku ya furaha. Ndio. Ikawa ni siku ya kupeana zawadi. Ndio. Haleluya. Haleluya. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu anabandilisha aibu yako. Amen. Wale walingojia waibike. Ndio. Ah, wataangalia wataibika wao. Amen. Wale walingojia ulie. Dio. Wao ndi otapata wakilia. Dio. Mungu anangeuza kilio chako kuwa fura. Dio. Anangeuza uzuni yako kuwa fura. Dio. Anangeuza kiteko chako. Dio. Akuwa heshima. Dio. Sema sita ibika. Sita ibika. Eh, Unasikia yu mstari underline that verse 22 in your Bible. Mstari shina mbili. Inasema ambazo ni siku za ya wayahudi. Walio jipatia raa mbele ya adui zao Mungu akupatia kujipatia raa mbele ya adui zako Amen Sema amen Amen Utakula na utakunywa Amen Bwana anakuwekea meza mbele yao Amen Na anawapanga moja hapa mwingine hapa mwingine hapa Amen Amekuwekea meza ikona vinono Amen e, Anakuambia kula Unakula wakikuangalia Amen Umawai ona vile ukikula na, na umbo ikiwa hapo? Mm. Umawai ona ukikula na umbo ikiwa hapo ina kuangalia? Ina kuangalia anga hata uki, ukipeleka kijiko kwa sahani. Inaangalia. Ukiinua mpaka juu hapa, inaenda na wewe. Inaangalia unatafuna mpaka una meza. Inaangalia tena unarudi tena kwa sahani. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu atafanyia adui zako. <laughs> Anasemanga, if you cannot beat them, join them. Amen. Kama wezi kuwashinda, waungana na wawo. Your enemies will have no choice. Wadui zako hata kwa anachaguo. They better join you. Nimbaka, afadhali waungani na we mapema. Because if they don't join you. Kama hata waungana na wewe. God is ashaming them. Wana na waibisha. I didn't bring you a good message. Sija kuletea ujumbe mzuri tu. You are going to see the manifestation of what I am telling you. Unaenda kono birishu ya chenye na kuampia. Somebody say amen. Mutu sema amina. Ile siku ilikuwe megeuzwa iwe ya, kizu, ya, ya uzuni. Ndiyo. Iwe ya kuomboleza. Ndiyo. Imegeuzwa ikawa siku ya siku kuu. Amen. Ikawa ni siku ya fura. Amen. Ikawa ni siku ya kupeana zawadi. Amen. Nina kuombea buwana kakufanyi hivyo. Ndiyo. Zile siku mbaya adu ya likuwa mekupangia mwaka huu. Ndiyo. Buwana azibandilisha zikawe siku za wema. Ndiyo. Ukafuraia na kuesabu baraka za buwana. Katika maisha yako. Katika jina la yesu. Katika jina la yesu.
kama unaamini simama na useme haleluya haleluya stand up on your feet mama kwa miguu yako i am done nimemaliza God is overturning tables. You are ruling over your enemies. I say you are ruling over them. You are stepping on their heads. In the name of Jesus. You are stepping on their heads. You are stepping on its head. In the name of Jesus. This is your time to rejoice. I say this is your time. To rejoice. I say this is your time to celebrate. This is your time to speak of the goodness of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. So Balagadaba. Lift up your hands before Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to tell the Lord thank you. Answer kumwambia Bwana bandilisha. Bandilisha. Overturn tables. Bandilisha mesa. Overturn tables. Bandilisha kila mesa. Overturn tables. Geuza kila mesa. Whatever the scheme. The enemy was scheming. Against my life. Against my family. Against my finances. Overturn tables. Do my favor. Oh God Almighty. Ya basaka la ba ya pragada bosaya maska paragada ya losko paragada yo sokoro bosila ya balasola pa sabala bos Oh Jesus Oh Jesus Mighty man of war, Lion of Judah, we bow down and worship Yahweh. 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 Come and do. Come and do. For only you can do. Mighty man of you, sing it. I own of Judah. We bow down. We bow down and worship you. Your name is Yahweh. For Jesus, I feel abandoned to pray for people. If you are here, and there is a certain battle you are undergoing, I want you to come here. God is giving you victory. Quickly rush. If you undergoe a certain battle in your place of your work, in the place where you do business, you have to do it. You have to do it. 
I want you to quickly rush here. You might also be sick in your body. That is a battle. You need the healing of God. The Lord is ready to minister to you. In the name of Jesus. I want you to lift your two hands before Jesus. Every battle you undergo, you are listening, you are receiving victory right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, behold your children. Behold your children. And it doesn't matter. The battle, the challenge, whatever they undergo, I declare victory. Victory is the apostle. In the name of Jesus. Overturn tables to their favor. Overturn tables to their favor. Reba Shakaraba. Yabala Ganabos. I release it upon you. I release it upon you. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Rabo Shakaraba. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Every battle is over. Every battle is over. Receive your victory. May you triumph over your enemies. May you triumph. May you triumph over your enemies. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Yes. Receive your victory. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Rabo Sheka. Yes. I release the anointing. Bow. Reba Babaya. Reba Baba. Every battle you have been undergoing is over. Yabalagada. Yabalagada. It's over. It's over. Receive your victory. Pokeo Sindiwako. Receive every battle. It's over. I assure you to your victory. I assure you to your victory. Receive your victory. Triumph over your enemies. Triumph over your enemies. Triumph over your enemies. Every battle is over. It's over. Ya balada. Ya balada. Ya balada. Poke o sindi wako. Reka payaka. I break every barrier. Rosco paya. I break every limitation. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Rama seka pa. Poke o sindi wako. Poke o sindi wako. Kwajina la yes. Poke a. O sindi wako. Rema mama ya. Receive your victory. Ya balagada pa. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Triumph over your enemies. Receive your victory. Rema seka. I assure you to your victory. Repapa out of our life. Every spirit, every bondage, every bondage over your life. Come out. You spirit of the devil. Come out. Come out. Minakosika Mateka. Come out. Lusa. Lusa. Lusa life. Lusa life. Lusa life. Watch it. Lusa life. Yes. I command you to lose her. Lose her. Out. 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 Pinga makelele ya koki anda kusimo. Nina kwesabi ya moja. Baka tatu ondoke. Atilia destiny yaki. Atilia maisha yaki. Atilia. Na kuchoma na moto. Roya utawi. Chomeka. Chomeka. In the name of Jesus. Nina mfungua destiny yaki. Nina mfungua maisha yaki. I set you free. Na kupatia sekunde tatu wake. One. Two. Two. Three, your work is over in the name of Jesus. Makasharaba, Malazola, Maya Balada, 
Maya Palada, Mapayalaba, Rebasa. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Power. Hey. Rebosa baba. Yebosa kaparada. Mascaraba. Mascaraba. Rebosaya. No more sorrow. No more pain. No more trouble. I release your grace. Release and receive your grace. I give you glory. Kila vita ya magonjwa. Katika jamii yenu. It is over. Kisha. That the circle of defeat is broken. In the name of Jesus. You will never spend your money again. Yes. On hospital bills, on the medication, I break that curse. I command freedom over your family, over your mother, over your people, over your siblings. In the name of Jesus. I give you glory, Jesus. You are wonderful. Lift up your hands, everybody. You need this victory. I release the victory of God in your life. May you prevail over your enemies. May you rule over those who hate you. May God give them to lick the dust of your feet. May he condemn with your condemners. From now I shift your battle. From your end. To the ends of God. May God fight your battles. In Jesus name. Clap your hands and give him praise. Amen. Amen. If you are here and you are not born again, you know the truth Jesus is not your Lord. You know the truth Unajua ukakufa saa hii uwezi kuona ufalme wa Mungu. Ndio. Nataka nikupatie nafasi ya kusamehewa na Yesu. Adui wa kwanza Mungu anayekupatia ushindi juu yake ni dhambi. Ndio. Kuna yote anahitaji msamaha wa Yesu. Inua mkono wako mahali ulipo. Unahitaji Yesu akusamehe dhambi zako. Kuna yote katikati yetu. Usipotelee hapo katikati. Siku hii ya leo ni siku yako ya wokovu. Amen. Kuna yote. Angalia jirani yako kama ameokoka, muulize wewe umeokoka. Naongojea kujibu. Nasema ongea na jirani yako muulize wewe umeokoka. Amen. Amen. Kuna yote. Amen. Kama kuna mmoja kama huyu brother Joy Glory to Jesus. Today is your day of salvation. Kama kuna mwingine chukua ujasiri ukuchi. Toka kwenye kiti chako kuja hapa. Amen. The Lord is here to forgive you. Bwana yuko hapa akusamehe. He does not condemn any man. Aja hukumu mwanadamu yoyote. He said I did not come to condemn the world. Anasema sikuja kuhukumu ulimwengu. But I came that the world may be saved through me. Kini likuja ili dunia ikaokolewe kupitia kwangu. Amen. Let me pray for this brother. Lift up your hands. Inua mikono yako ndugu. Nataka uombe ili ombe nyuma yangu sema Bwana Yesu. Siku hii ya leo ni siku yangu ya wokovu. Ninakupa maisha yangu. Uwe Bwana wangu na mwokozi wangu nisamee dhambi zangu nifanye kiumbe kipya kutoka siku ya leo ya kale yamepita nitampenda Yesu na kumuishia ewe Yesu nisaidie kutoka siku ya leo kwa jina la Yesu nimeokoka na kuamini amen hawa pia wamekuja 
imenue ni mikono ye ombeni ili ombi nyuma yangu sa inua mikono yote miwili da sema bwana yesu naja kwako unisamee dhambi za na makosa siku hii ya leo inakupa maisha yangu uwe bwana wangu na mwokozi wangu nimemkataa shetani na kazi zake zote kutoka siku ya leo wewe yesu ni mfalme wangu nitakunyenyekea na kukutii kwa jina la yesu Baba ninaombea wapendwa hawa ambao wamekiri mbele zako. Amen. Unasema kila goti litapigwa na kila ulimi utakiri. Ndio. Na leo wamekiri Yesu kuwa bwana wao. Ndio. Ingia ndani ya maisha yao. Ingia bwana. Samee dhambi zao. Samee. Wasafishe. Safishe. Wafanye viumbe vipya. Vipya. Wajaze na roho wako mtakatifu. Wajaze kazi za ngiza azitapata nafasi ndani yao ndio kutoka leo pokea roho wa Mungu ndio pokea nguvu ya Mungu ndani yako ndio pokea roho wa Mungu ndani yako ndio pokea roho wa Mungu ndani yako ndio katika jina la Yesu ukapende Mungu na kumuishia kutoka sasa katika jina la Yesu Kwa Yesu makofi mazuri Amen So Awa pendo walio nyuma yenu watawapokea na kuwaelekeza na kuwaelekeza sema amen amen that lady is free she is free she Dada cannot uyo. be under any bond she is uyo. free uhuru hawezi kuwa chini ya utumwa yoyote we don't waste time with the demons Usiwe, eh. she is free yuko huru kabisa live her there mwache tu hapo she is free yuko huru in jesus name kwa jina la yesu You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Na uzuka keti uwe kweli mbona. Wa haraka haraka chukua sadaka yako. Amen. Amen. The other service begins at 12. Ile ibada nyingine inaanza saa sita kamili. So we have few minutes to be out of this place. Kwa hivyo tumebakia dakika chache tu ili tuondoke mali. I want you to take your offering and your tithe. Taka uchukue zaka yako na fungu na sadaka yako. Glory to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. This week we had a very powerful time of revival. Juma hili tulikuwa na wakati mzuri kabisa wa uvivio mali hapa. I pity those who missed those revivals. Yaani nawaonea huruma wale ambao walikosa hizo vivio. Kwa sababu tuko kiwango juu yao. Tena kiwango cha juu sana. Amen. Tumewacha na miaka kumi. Quickly take your offering. Haraka haraka chukua sadaka yako. Take your tithe. Chukua tafungu lako la kumi. I said your tithe belongs to God. Nisema zaka yako ni ya Bwana. Your first giving is your tithe. Kutoaji wako wa kwanza inaanzia kwa fungu la kumi. If you need to give that tithe. Kama unahitaji kutoa hiyo zaka mafungu, you take the brown envelope. Unachukua hii sadaka hii basha. The white envelope is for offering. Hii basha nyingine nyeupe hiyo ni ya sadaka peke yake. If you are using Mpesa you to give your offering kama unatumia mpesa kutoa sadaka yako you take this white envelope to, to record the transaction number and the amount unachukua basha ya white hiyo ndio unashughulikia kuandika mpesa hiyo namba ya mpesa hiyo glory to jesus utukufu kwa yesu hallelujah hallelujah i'm waiting for you na kusubiri wewe Are you given the announcements? In the new program the announcements are coming. Matangazo inatangulia. Amen. Kabla mahubiri. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. Take your offering. Chukua sadaka yako. Are you prepared with your offering? Je, umejitayarisha na sadaka yako? Amen. Let me request my wife to pray for the offering. Acha nitamuomba mama aje aombe sadaka. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you and we bless your holy name for this wonderful opportunity, Lord. 
Thank you for the hearing of your word. Thank you, Lord, because we know you are of turning tables on our favor and you are fighting every battle for, on our behalf. We thank you, Lord, for the offerings and tithes that we are holding in our hands. Yes. Father, we pray that as we release them to you, you will bless every giver, Lord. Yes. And in return, you will rebuke the devourer on our behalf. Yes. We give you glory and we give you praise. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 So give a to the Lord. Kama kuna fungu la kumi unaleta hapa mbele kwa haraka. Amen. Pigia Pastor Paul Makofi wacha ni muachilie. Amen. Tutuende haraka. Hallelujah. Pigia mchungaji uyu Makofi mazuri. Amen. Thank you. Amen. If you have your tithe, bring it. Kama una. Kama kuna fungu la kumi lete. Asande Pastor Mungu wa kubariki. God bless you. God bless you. As you keep...